Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Fourth Impact Distorted. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, this says US debut single. Okay, girls, all right, let's go. Wow. This feels like like early 2000s pop music. And that's a good thing. Okay? That's a it it gives Christina Aguilera, it gives Britney like like the production and the writing of it. I said wow because the one sister who cut her hair into the bob and dyed it red. I don't know how long ago that happened, but I love that. It looked great. Um they definitely shot this in LA. Because they're in that same studio that everyone shoots. Everyone who's anyone has shot a music video in that studio with the, the block ceiling with the different color lights. Like ev Drake, ev everybody, 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 everybody. If you don't believe me, go check. But I'm telling you. Um, yeah, I love this. I, I get I get that this is the U.S. debut single because it, it, it feels like American music. All right, let's keep going. Not at her place. Danny D. Kane. Danny D. Kane. Especially, and I don't wanna. That feels like a Danny D. Kane. Do y'all know who Danny D. Kane is? This feels like, that's what I'm saying, like that early 2000s music where like girl groups were ruling the world. <laughs> like. Yeah, this is this is good. I wish there would be more like we need to bring this kind of music back because it just is good music. Like, you know, what I mean, just turn it on. Have a good day. It's good music. It's not too complicated. The storyline is there. The groove is there. You know, I am going to be honest and say I don't love the styling. It doesn't feel cohesive to me. It feels a bit dated. The hair is cute, though. Uh, but the clothes I'm not sold on the clothes. I don't feel like. Um, it just doesn't feel fresh like today, you know, but that's just my opinion and no shade, no tea. I think they're phenomenal. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, the honesty. Did we know they could dance like this? All four of them eating it. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. She's like staring into my soul. Um, I didn't know they could get there. They are like dancing. Like, yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. Wow. All right. Let's go girls. Let's go girls. Ooh. This is giving Scream, Janet and Michael. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like they're in all the sets from all the, like, good stuff. Stored Stored Love it. You're breaking up. Thought you were all about me. How could you betray me? So you're my everything. I wanted your wedding ring. Oh. Hanging out to I wanted your wedding, wedding ring. All right. This product, this literally sounds like it was plucked from 2001. Like the 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 ad lib is now all right. It this doesn't it? This feels like bye bye bye. Don't really wanna make it tough. I just wanna tell you that I had enough. Y'all like they're tap. They're very tapped in. I think I think um I don't know how well this did. I don't know if it charted. If I mean I know it's new, so I don't know if it's charting or not. But um. If it's not, I feel like it's just because it does feel older. But I feel like millennials listen to this and eat it up, like love it. I don't know if the new kids, the new kids on the block, the Gen Zers, the, whatever they are, I don't know if they'll love it. But I love it because it feels very nostalgic to the, like the type of music I grew up on, the poppy, 
you know, the MTV generation, like quite literally. Um, yeah, that's so interesting to me. I think, um, I think this is a view and a perspective of like how the, the Eastern side of the world views American music. If that makes sense. Like, I think this is how they view American music. This is good. I like it. That run. They are dancing. You know what? I don't love the, the styling, but I love the choreography. Like whoever did the choreography, chef's kiss. Great job. Great job. So it balanced itself out <laughs> because I really, I don't think the clothes fit them very well. Um, it just doesn't feel authentic to who they are. Like they're very glamorous. At least that's how I feel like I've seen them. So like up until this point, and I feel like they were trying to go fashiony and trendy, but it just doesn't feel super authentic to them and they're so different like it doesn't feel like they're you know i i get girl groups all the time destiny child all the girl groups like they're not all dressed the same but there's something that makes them cohesive this doesn't feel cohesive to me it feels like four different women from four different situations but the choreography eat them up the song eat them up the production ow i hit my elbow <laughs> that was my funny bone <laughs> the production eat them up the vocals eat them up great look at the hair flips like are you kidding me Come on, y'all. I learned it. So, yeah. You promised you won't hurt me, but now I'm here regretting. I put no trust in you. Now who's breaking all the rules? Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. 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 Eat them up, y'all. Ah. Come on. Woo. Just good, clean choreography. No one's doing this anymore. Just good, clean choreography. Just... A five six boom cat. That was that was very good. Love that. Love that shot. Oh, I love this so much. I ran it back. Uh, yeah, I think bring back this kind of music. Bring back this kind of pop music. We need this. We need this. It's just it's just good music. That is a great U.S. debut single, in my opinion. In my millennial opinion, fantastic. Great way to break into the U.S. market. Great way. Fantastic. Uh, all right. Let me know your thoughts and go and have the day you deserve. Peace.